today is a Costco shop with me video. Come meander through the store with me. Let's see what they got for the holidays. Get some groceries, see what's on sale. And as always, since I am a former employee of Costco, I will share any tips or tricks along the way. Right when you walk in, it looks like all kinds of things for your baking needs this holiday season. This KitchenAid stand mixer is a pretty good deal right now, $100 off. However, if you're able to wait until Black Friday, you can usually find this for around $250. But obviously, Black Friday is after Thanksgiving. So if you need it for Thanksgiving, this is a really good deal pre-Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh, I am buying this. I have been on a s'mores kick with my boys and actually I caught them taking the tiny little marshmallows and sticking it in this, like trying to stick it and roast it in the slats of our fireplace. Not a good idea. I'm sure there's marshmallows that have been dropped down there. Anyways, I actually just bought one of these off of Amazon for $40. So when I get that, I'm going to return it and I'm just going to get this $20 one instead. The nice thing about this is it's flameless so you don't have to worry about your house like catching on fire. I mean I guess you should still probably be worried if there's kids involved but this is a much safer option and it has this tray around it for all your accoutrements. Another new Costco find this popcorn air popper. I have something similar to this different brand but I love popping my own fresh popcorn because I get to use my own healthy oils on it. I get to put the amount of salt I want on it. I feel like you can make truly healthy popcorn with these things and it's really not that hard. Let's see, they got lots of random prep things here. For $18, they have this four pack of these basket weave plastic bins. I have bins very similar to this in my pantry and I love them. They also have these for $30 if you're looking to revamp your pantry. These are very beautiful. However, if you're cramped on space, I personally like my rectangular tall ones that I got from Walmart's Better Home and Garden brand. These would just take up a lot more space due to the shape. And I feel like most people are trying to maximize their space in their pantry. So I like my Walmart ones. One of my unhealthy addictions is having blankets all over my house. I love buying blankets. I love cuddling up to blankets. And these Lux Faux Fur Throws here are only $40 and they're dupes for the Crate and Barrel ones that are $120 or $130. They are so soft. It looks like they have four different colors. I personally like this one. Is today the day that I'm going to feed my addiction and get another blankets. I'm going to make a responsible decision and say no. If it goes on sale for the $10 off like it did last year, I might be getting this. At the front of the store, they also have all these basic personal hygiene items. This is the toothpaste I use. Might as well restock on this. Friendly reminder from Costco to keep up with your basic personal care and hygiene over the holidays. Next, they got all the Christmas decor. I cannot even fit this whole tree in the frame. This is the 12 foot pre-lit radiant micro LED Christmas tree. It's a hundred $150 off right now for $8.50. It is quite a beautiful fake tree. I, I don't know what the going price is on Christmas trees. I am not a girly who does goes crazy with decorating for every holiday. I do the basics, but I already got a Christmas tree, so I'm not looking to buy additional ones. My tree is a wee little one like this, a 7.5 foot one. And this one is $100 off for $3.80 right now. They got all kinds of garland and wreaths, and they do have some sale deals already going on these items. This is not something you see often. This absolutely massive wreath right here is already on clearance and going away. Once they run out of this, they're not going to restock it. That is what that little asterisk stands for. Any price tag that ends in a 97, it means it is a clearance price. But yeah, you usually don't see clearance items this early on in the season. I'm filming this at the very beginning of November right now. $100 for this Disney animated tree. They got all the Disney kind of bright Christmassy things right now. $130 for this small village, $100 for this train set. I feel like with Instagram, I feel like this decor look is so nostalgic. When I think of my grandparents' homes around Christmas time, they had stuff like this. You don't see stuff like this on Instagram nowadays. On Instagram now, you see like this $80 super white, I don't know, not bright and vibrant, but more aesthetically pleasing neutral look, which I do really appreciate this. Personally, I think this is more my style, but at the same time, this just feels happier. Like this, can we all agree? This looks so much happier than this. 
This is like a little prison village. They got some ornaments here, $20, $10 off these jumbo ornaments. And then this is new. I have never seen this. For $55, they have this Swarovski annual edition ornament. I mean, it is very beautiful. However, $55 for a single ornament. This isn't even like a tree topper. This is a hanging ornament. If someone were to outfit their entire tree with these crystal ornaments, I mean, they're they're just in a different tax bracket than me. For $12 here, I am preemptively getting these gift tags so that I can properly label my gifts and I don't have to like write who it's to in Sharpie on the wrapping paper, which I have been known to do in the past. For $18, you can get 20 recycled gift bags, which this is actually not a terrible deal because I used to get all my gift bags from Dollar Tree, but now that Dollar Tree is $1.25, I mean 20 bags, math, I, I'm not great at math. It's more than $18. Comparing to Dollar Tree again for $25, $5 off, you can get 24 handcrafted greeting cards by the Papyrus brand. I typically got all my greeting cards from Dollar Tree and a lot of times you can get two for $1. However, the Papyrus greeting cards, you can't really tell from the pictures here, but if you know, you know, they are so much more intricate. Like this is probably real like you know, fake jewels on this one. Not real gems, but you know what I mean. They're so much more intricate and detailed if you enjoy giving very beautiful cards. Next, they got all the video games here, PS5, Xbox, Switch. There's no deals or sales on any of these. This, am I that out of the loop now on the gaming <laughs> side of things? I mean, I bought my boys Nintendo Switches for their birthdays. They all have one, but this is like the Nintendo Switch, but for PlayStation. Dudes in the comments or gamers in the comments, how, what do you think of this compared to the Switch? I know the Switch is probably for younger kids, which is why I have them for my boys ages five and seven. But yeah, we are a Switch household. Don't mind the ghost playing the music over there. Hopefully you can still hear me right now, but they got the MetaQuest here. This is like the VR headset and it is $370 for the two and $600 for the three. I feel like like I asked y'all what your opinions were on the whole VR headset thing maybe two years ago, but I'm curious now. It's been two years. We're living in the future. <laughs> what, what are people's thoughts on the VR headsets now? And is Meta the way to go? Is there a different one that's better? You've seen the movie Ready Player One. Like I, I fear for our future because of that movie. They got the GoPro Hero 11 for $340. I personally own a GoPro. I am not the biggest fan. I don't know if I'm just not the smartest. I mean, I know I'm not the smartest, but for whatever reason, whenever I've used it, the picture comes out really grainy. I don't know, but they look like they have a competitor now. This Insta360 is $400 $40. They got all kinds of speakers here. And then, okay, parenting question for y'all that I thought of. Oh my God, that piano is so loud. <laughs> I'm sorry. There we go. Okay, I can talk now. One of my sons is getting notes from his music teacher that he is not singing in class. And that is becoming a problem because he's not participating. To participate, you must sing. And my son says he's embarrassed to sing. So he doesn't really want to. I told him in kinder terms to basically not give a what other people think and to just sing but he really doesn't want to so i keep getting notes home about him not singing in music class so question to y'all in the comment section below what would you do if your child was not singing in class because they were embarrassed and then they were getting notes home from the teacher as a result now we are going into the hodgepodge aisles as i so lovingly call them with all just the random things and the first thing we got is this jumbo bean bag for 150 dollars now i bought this from costco like whatever the version was of this maybe two or three years ago. My kids love it. The thing I like about it is this cover is removable so you can wash it when they inevitably spill something on it. But yeah, I mean, it's it's just, it's a basic bean bag. It's lasted us like years at this point because I can wash the cover and it is very cozy. We got the candles. I'm such a girl, I can always buy candles. You can either get one of these huge 53 ounce ones for $20, $5 off. Now I smell these, this is a very summery scent. This one, even though it's green, so I feel like you could use it for the holiday season, it smells like sunscreen. So it's not like an appropriate time of the year scent, 
this one smells like a hot dude. <laughs> but yeah, none of these are like Christmas per se. These ones, you get a three pack for $20 are holiday scented next we got their vacuums not a lot of sales on vacuums except for on this one that is newer to costco the shark cordless pro i have the shark cordless vertex which is a step above this one but the thing i like about this that also is on my vacuum and i love it is it has this button that you push here that allows you to bend the vacuum so it can reach under furniture and that has been a game changer no other sales though on the robo vacuums wait until black friday there is a Always tons of deals on Black Friday on the RoboVac, and I personally love my RoboVac. It is Shark brand. For $80, is this a nugget ice maker? The nugget ice makers I've been seeing on Amazon and that all the influencers share are like $200 plus. Oh no, it is not. Unfortunately not nugget. Uh, it's bullet shaped ice. So if you want bullet shaped ice, $80 is a lot cheaper than the nugget ones. But I personally, I'm, I'm holding out. I'm waiting for a nugget one giftable items here for the women in your life we got the dyson super expensive hair dryer i'm not uh, i mean the people who have this love this i'm not spending 400 dollars on a hair dryer personal preference this shark flex style though is something i am interested in i am still living in the 1900s i just got a basic like metal barrel curling iron but for anyone who's tried these types of flex styling air wrap type things let me know in the comments what you think of them oh they got $30 off the ninja dual brew coffee maker I really wish they had this but instead of the k cups I wish they had the Nespresso pods I personally have a Nespresso machine I think the coffee tastes so much better than the k cups but I would love to actually brew coffee with real coffee grounds every so often so I love the idea of this just don't personally love k cups this is new and $20 off right now what is this like a new age slow cooker ninja food possible cookers looks like you can slow cook saute steam sous vide braise ba bake i don't know what proofing is i don't know early christmas gift to myself this actually looks pretty cool and i own multiple things from the ninja brand and i love all of them so that's why i i guess i already feel confident in this you know what whatever M merry christmas to me i feel like i've already decided it's 20 dollars off right now so many ninja items they have 30 dollars off this one the ninja foodie flex basket air fryer which which looks like it has a mega 11 quart basket that has dual cooking zones i already have a basket air fryer plus I have one of these Ninja Foodi ovens that also has an air fry function that I use almost every single day. I love it. Mine is the larger version, but this one is cool and really giftable for people who maybe have less counter space because the thing I like about this, and they don't have a picture to show it. Let me see. When you're using this, it can be down and then flipped up and out of the way to get your counter space back when you're not using it. My mom owns this and loves it. Ninja coming in hot with the appliances this holiday season. It, no pun intended. We got the Ninja Wood Fire Outdoor Grill and Smoker. I have not seen this before, but that's kind of cool, I guess. For $400, they have this Chefman Home Slice Indoor Electric Pizza Oven. I cannot remember the brand, but my brother, mom, and I got my older brother something similar to this maybe a year or two ago. I don't know. You, you have to really like pizza. <laughs> to buy this but what makes it special i guess is it cooks at super high heat like the fire cooked pizzas it makes for the wood fired pizzas that's what they're called the wood fired super high heat pizzas that are delicious another gift idea for 70 dollars they have this blend jet two pack so you can gift one keep one gift two whatever you want but a personal size blender like speaking as a single gal right now is very useful for the single people in your life for a hundred dollars they have this 18 piece set kitchen and pantry storage bin thingy majiggies i'm running out of words <laughs> thingy majiggies thingy majiggies is what i'm going with i personally would not get this some of these bins are just so small i don't even know what i would put in them but if you eat really small foods or just don't have three growing boys just 
pounding all the food in your house, these could be a good fit. Oh, I am getting this $5 off $20 for an 18 piece Snapware Pyrex glass food storage set. And actually, I think I'm gonna go with this 10 piece set from Ello instead. It's also glass and it has the silicone base to just make sure that my kids don't just crack and break them right away. For $16.97, so it is on clearance. They have Pendleton cups. This is a really pretty design, actually. I just, clearly, they're already on clearance, so people aren't buying them. I feel like people prefer larger than 20 ounce mugs for travel mugs. That's just what I personally think. I personally only get larger travel mugs, so I'm passing on it, even though they are very cute and on clearance. This, ooh, this is in drawer knife block. I have never seen an in drawer knife block sold in a store before. It's $250 here, dang. You can get an in drawer knife block for, I don't know, like $40. I have one on my Amazon storefront. I love my in drawer knife block because I like not having the knives taking up counter space, just tempting my children to touch them. I mean, maybe the knives are like super amazing. I don't know, but $250, if you're just looking for the in drawer knife block, Amazon. My Amazon storefront, shamelessly plugging if you want to support. Oh, what is this here? For $3 flat, anytime you see something that ends in 00, zero that means it's a clearance item that is specific to the store you're in. And it's usually like the bare bottom bones price. In this case, it's clearly the last unit left. Halloween is passed. So yeah, I'm not gonna get them, but if I wanted to for only $3 on super clearance at this specific store, they have these zombie pops. For $20, this is so pretty. Ow. <laughs> this grazing board. What is it? It looks like acacia wood. Yeah, has handles, just a really pretty wood serving board that I'm sure you could dress up real nice for the holidays. If you need new china for the holidays, $20 off this Mikasa Bone White China. There's all kinds of serving platters. For $50, this is a dupe of the Always Pan, I believe it's called. Any Pan, Always Pan. I'll put a link, but the Any Pan is $100, and this is very similar for half the price. For $70, they brought it back this year. This Brewer's Advent Calendar, you get 25 beers for each day of December. Let's see, what are, what are the beers? I, I don't know anything about alcohol, but if you got someone who likes beer, this is a good gift option. And they usually sell out pretty fast. So they sell out. And as you can see, it has the asterisk, so they don't bring it back after they sell out. So get it now. Oh, for $330, they got this large solo stove. I mean, it is, it's not huge, but it is definitely not small. I recently had someone recommend this to me for making s'mores as they are doing there. I, I'm very glad that I got this tiny little s'mores maker for $20 instead. Oh, these Blackstone griddles are really popular right now. My friend Ariel's dad has one. They use it all the time. This large one is $400. I mean, it's exactly as described. It's basically just like a giant outdoor griddle. For less money, they have this one, $160 for, I guess you could say this portable tabletop, 22 inch griddle. We got more Christmas stuff here. This is so cute. If I host, or even if I just go to someone's holiday party, I might come back here and get some of these. Like if I know there's gonna be a hot cocoa bar or something, this is such a cute little mug topper. The joy of gift baskets. Every time I see gift baskets here at Costco, I think of Michael Scott, cause I'm on the same page as him. I love a good gift basket. Food is my love language and a basket just full of food. What is there not to love? And beyond just food, a basket full of candy and sugar, that is, that is certain the way to my heart. We got the cookies here. I love baking during the holidays. I am not the greatest cook in the world, but I do like to bake because again, I love sweets. But gingerbread, not necessarily my favorite cookie. Actually, probably in fact, one of my least favorite cookies. So I'm not personally going to bake gingerbread men. Fun activity, my kids enjoy decorating the gingerbread men. It's just a good solid tradition. For $12, you get three. I have three kids, it, it makes sense, sold. Also like the fact that you get three kits here and each of my boys can work on their own project versus for the same price, just getting one single gingerbread house that I know they would all fight over. Someone would rage quit and like smash the whole thing. 
So this is definitely the right choice for me and my family. I am probably spending an excessive amount of time in the sugar and candy aisle, but it is, it's just my thing. These melt away cookies, they're, they're just delicious. They it taste like dust in your mouth. They just melt in your mouth. Feels like you're eating a sugar coated dust bunny, but they're delicious because it's sugar. And then this is new this year. They have these long giftable tin things that have the cranberry pistachio biscuits in them, which are also very good. For $17, they have the Kelsen, like the standard tried and true famous Danish butter cookies. Doesn't just looking at these cookies bring back memories of your youth? It could be like friggin' April, July, whatever. Your grandma still had this tin out in her living room and you're eating these cookies. So much chocolate, so many candy options. Oh, they got these Lindt truffle advent calendars for $19. Just, just so many candy options. I, I won't go over detail of every single one. We'll be here all freaking day. <laughs> but there's a lot of options. Sorry for the beeping. I don't, it, it's been going on for like 20 minutes now. I didn't film for 20 minutes and it's just not turning off. So I'm going with it, but they got tons of toys right now for $70. They still have this ax throwing set, which fortunately not real axes. That could be extremely dangerous for children, but lots of toys and none are on sale right now. Like in this whole aisle, I don't see a single item for sale, which makes sense. Typically toys are not on sale pre-Christmas in November, unless it's Black Friday. For $10, how much does your family love Costco in order to get this Costco 500 piece jigsaw puzzle? For $250, I saw this at Sam's Club last year. They have, let's see, do you get two or do you get one? They're bumper cars. Looks like you get one bumper car for $250. So for $500, you can play bumper cars in your house. They're not super huge, but they're not like extremely small by any means. Really cool if you have a freaking massive, like richy rich type house. $440 for this Phantom electric scooter, $700 to $600 for these old school gaming systems. They got all the Lego things right now. Minecraft, my boys are super into Minecraft right now. That might be something to consider. Marvel, Harry Potter, these ones are $35. These are extremely cute, by the way. Only $16 per little sweater thing. That, or they probably need actual coats more than anything. I like these Eddie Bauer ones. They're $20 each. Fully fleece lined, even on the inside, into the sleeve, arm sleeves and everything. Of course, they do not have my boys specific size though in the black so I'm gonna pass in the home section they have tons of sales going on on their sheets if you need to get you know new sheets on the bedding for guests Christmas deck pillows are $10 and then for $20 they have these faux fur super soft ones that just like the blanket I talked about in the beginning of this video look like the Crate and Barrel ones but just so much cheaper. Lots of faux fur throws this year. For $30 they have this Fry brand faux fur throw which Fry I know is like a pretty solid brand but is it just me? Does this look so cheap? This looks like a matted wet dog's hair. And the paper goods, diapers, wipes section. Man I'm it's been a long time since I've had to buy diapers, thank the Lord. They just keep getting more and more expensive. So just parenting tip, if you love Huggies, just get the Kirkland brand ones. They're dupes for the Huggies for less money. Cleaning supplies to keep a tidy home. This is new. I have not seen the pink stuff here before. For $15, you get two tubs. I personally would not recommend. If you're looking for this type of cleaner that comes out of a tub, the Scrub Daddy Power Paste, in my opinion, works better than this. And then for $16, they have an eight pack of Scrub Daddies here. I'm actually gonna get this. This is the first time I've seen Scrub Daddies at my Costco and I love Scrub Daddies personally. And beyond me just using these, I'm sure I'll use all of them, but even if I want to this holiday season, if I make kind of like fun little gift baskets for my friends, I feel like it's very on brand for me to include one of these. I am getting dangerously low on my dishwasher pods. I use the Cascade Platinum Plus and usually, here at Costco. Every three, four months, these go on super sale, so I'm gonna wait. All of the paper plates, cups, everything are not on sale right now, except for these ones, which technically, these are not paper plates. They are elegant plastic plates, which I feel 
like I'm not, I'm not gonna throw away all these plastic plates. Like if you want disposable paper in my mind is the only way to go. But yeah, none of the paper is on sale yet. <laughs> if you're the type of person who does not like to do dishes after hosting, which is me, I am speaking to myself right now. I do not like doing dishes after hosting. I am in the drink aisle. I'm really hoping one of these days they get liquid death here. I have been on a liquid death iced tea kick, in my opinion, the best iced tea. A huge can is only 30 calories. It has B vitamins. It still tastes really sweet, even though it's only very lightly sweetened and low calories. So I don't know, I don't see it here. I really want Costco to start getting it because it is not cheap. For $23, they still got this bird's nest tea, eh? <laughs> It is a swallow nest beverage. It is literally, I looked it up, literal bird's nest in this drink, but they've had it for probably going on a year now. So someone's buying it. Bird's nest must taste real good, but I'm not spending $23 to try a bird's nest. I worked on a bird farm for three days in my youth, learned everything I need to know about birds. They are not very clean animals. I'm not drinking their nest. Doing my grocery shopping now, I start in the pantry area and then move to the cold food stuff because I don't like things to just like melt and get rotten as I'm shopping. For $8, these Pipcorn Cinnamon Sugar Twists are so, freaking good. $13, I'm getting this two pack of vegetable oil because I'm going to be making a fry bread this holiday season to go with some chili. I literally need to deep fry the bread, so I need a lot of oil. For $17, I'm also getting this organic extra virgin olive oil. So many good basic staples. For $9, they have the King Arthur gluten-free flour, which I love. I use this for baking a lot because I try to minimize my gluten. I've realized in my age, gluten just makes me feel really tired. I don't have like celiacs or anything like that, but when I eat gluten, I need to take a nap. I just get really tired, so I try to avoid it so I can be awake and active and like actually live my life. But this is my favorite gluten-free flour and it's a good deal here. Oh, this beer bread mix is on clearance. I'm getting this as a gag gift to my mom because when I was like, I don't know, eight or whatever, she had this random kooky business idea as she does and her idea was to make beer bread mix and sell it. So my brothers and I had to like measure out the, so my brothers and I had to measure out the ingredients and everything. We had to heat press on the little beer bread labels. My mom had us in like a factory production line. Child labor, she's Asian, I don't know. <laughs> but it was by no means a successful business. And now it's just kind of a funny story, I guess. And I'm going to buy this for her just to reminisce. For $12, got a restock on my, ooh, that's not Rayos, on my Rayos. For $9, a lot of times when I make rice, I'll add in some of this organic quinoa. In addition, just as a little health boost, raise your hand in the comments. Who is still buying this emergency food supply? I remember, like in the Rona era, this was getting sold out like crazy here. Now, just curious, let, let me know who's who's still getting this. Personally feel like the food options could use a lot of improvement, but I guess, you know, in worst case scenario, you're just happy you have anything. I feel like this is 14 wasted dollars because I could eat all of these and not feel even remotely full but these things taste so good and i guess it's better than me eating candy so i'm going with it intended for toddlers and kids but <laughs> these are for me for 19 dollars, these cherries insanely delicious the first time i ever had these i was at a wedding and the specialty cocktail for the wedding had these cherries in them i, I don't even drink that much i was just like can i literally have a glass of just these cherries and that's what i got but this is really good it's so good on ice cream too costco has a really good olive selection so if you're planning a fun charcuterie board like a savory one the olives here are good they have different fig jams a few aisles back i passed over it they have all kinds of jams and crackers that would be great on a board i do have a charcuterie board from amazon and i plan on dressing one up at least once before the end of the year oh and MG. They finally have these freaking crepes again. Now, I wish they had the ones that didn't have the chocolate in them, but the chocolate ones are better than nothing. I like the ones that are plain so I can make them however I want. I can add chocolate, banana, savory items like meat and cheese, but this'll do. This will make my boys day tomorrow, so I'm gonna get two. Speaking of charcuterie, for $30, they have this charcuterie board. 
I don't know, it looks like it's probably a plastic tray, it looks like, with a variety of different chocolates on it. I mean, I'm not gonna buy this. You know me, I love chocolate, but I feel like, I mean, this is a perfect idea for a party at my house that, again, very on brand. I could totally make a charcuterie board on my actual, like, wooden charcuterie board. For $12, I recently got these. Tried them myself, they're so good. My kids also love them. Little snack pack yogurt bites with probiotics in them, so I'm getting a refill. $17. My boys also love these Chomps beef sticks and they really need their protein. They often don't like eating meat, but they like these. Ooh, $13 in the category of things I want so bad, but I'm not going to get. This was my dream to eat these every single day when I was a child. Technically, I could make that dream come true now as an adult. Oh, it looks like they're going away. It has the asterisks, but I like these ready clean protein bars. Lots of protein, fiber, and they are gluten free, which isn't necessarily common in a protein bar. For $13.49, they always have them around the holidays. The best caramels in the existence of caramels. Really the best candy in the existence of candy. Never heard of this and it is $6 off right now for $21. These Prime Glowberry Hydration Sticks. So is this like Liquid IV, just a different brand? Oh, okay, so Liquid IV has a lot of calories. This is only 20 calories per stick, so that's great. Caffeine-free, gluten-free, packed with vitamins as well. I might try the glow in the dark. I don't really know why my drink would need to glow. <laughs> Sounds kind of nuclear, a little bit shady, but it's caffeine-free, gluten-free, low calorie. I'm gonna try it. Oh, I guess if I want to not glow, they have this variety pack here, but I don't know. I'm kind of already on the glow train now. In the fruit area, and something I've never heard of before is red kiwi, which they are not red. <laughs> $8, I mean, I'll try them. I've never tried red kiwis before. Oh, super sweet with tropical flavors. Oh, and it looks like it's red in the middle. Okay, I'm excited. $8 for, it looks like 10 Honeycrisp apples. Actually, not a terrible deal. I hosted an apple taste test where everyone brought in a few apples at my work once when I was in corporate America, and the two winners were Honeycrisp and these Envy apples, by far and large. The Envy and Honey Crisps were everyone's favorite. For $8, Dragon Fruit always seems really exciting just because it looks cool, but it tastes like nothing on the inside. So then it just kind of feels like a waste. Oh, this is the first time my location has had this specific brand of spring mix. This is what I usually get at Target. And it's like almost the same price for a fraction of the amount. So I guess I could basically spend the same amount and have like even more go bad in my fridge because I never end up finishing it. Maybe maybe in January when everyone's trying to be healthy again, I'll come back to this. Less healthy salad, but so delicious is this organic Caesar salad kit. The specific Caesar dressing they have in here is so good and the lettuce is just nice and crisp and already cut up for you. The organic broccoli here is good. My kids love it air fryer broccoli. $9 for strawberries. Have I been living under a rock? Costco has ready-made beef chili now. I feel like it totally makes sense that they would have this. So I feel like this cannot be the first year they've had it, but this is the first year I have noticed it. I just tried a sample of this. It is so good. If you're looking for easy meals, this Kevin's brand, I've gotten, I actually have not gotten these specific kinds, but I've gotten some of their other items and they're really good easy meals. For $15, this is new. Corn masa stuffed with birria and cheese. And because they're corn, they're gluten-free. Those actually look very good. But I know my kids, <laughs> they're not the most adventurous. They like these chicken flautas. In the, I guess you could say, processed meat area, if you're looking at your charcuterie board options, here they are. They even have, for $13, specifically Italian charcuterie variety. They got a deal, $3.70 off the three pack of Borsin cheese. I tried a few recipes that I saw on TikTok using the Borsin like circle. You basically put it into the pasta dish and it's so good. I loved it as an adult. My kids, I feel like the cheese was too much for them, but it's bougie adult dinner type thing. Mix in some Borsin, it's so good. 
in the cheese area and it's like they're just trying to make our lives easy with these charcuterie boards that they know everyone's doing with like already ready cheeses to just open up and stick on the board. For 9.49 they still got the toaster grills which taste so good but they are not gluten free so I'm, I'm personally gonna avoid them but they taste like heaven and I know they're just grilled cheese but you know what grilled cheese is amazing and sometimes if you just want to pop it in the toaster and you don't want to make this whole production out of it it's easy. I feel a strong need to defend the toaster grills and grilled cheeses just because I criticized them before trying them for like months and then I tried them and I love them now. For $15, they got the organic cinnamon rolls from Annie's. Just because it's organic definitely does not mean it's healthy, but everyone loves cinnamon rolls and I feel like it's the time of year where a cinnamon roll breakfast is definitely called for. For $13, this is new here. And Premier Protein Protein Pancakes. I've gotten the Kodiak cakes from Target and Walmart before, and I really like the Kodiak cakes, but this is another option here at Costco. $14.89 for a, for a very simple <laughs> breakfast option. Costco has such good pizzas, and they have really good gluten-free pizza. Cauliflower crust pizza is also very good, and then this is new for $15. They have the Uno Calzones, which let's be honest, th those look like Hot Pockets. <laughs> But I do really like the Uno brand for pizza. It's so good. I'm sorry for the beeping. There's some emergency going on somewhere. These veggie spring rolls, good. This shoyu ramen is really good. The broth tastes amazing. And it is $4 off right now. The yakitori chicken is good. This yakisoba bowl. There's no chicken in it. It's just a veggie one for $14.49. But it tastes really good. And you can just add your own meat. Sometimes I do like getting just the veggie option that doesn't already have the meat included because I can have fresh grilled chicken added instead of, I don't know, kind of processy, ground up chicken isn't always the best. In my favorite section, the ice cream section, this is new, $10, looks so good. I love churros and dul dul dulce de leche, however you pronounce it. That looks good, that looks real good. Oh, $2.50 off right now. I've gotten these before. They're very good and they're nice and little, so I like them for my kids from that sense. Ooh, for $14, I love a good peppermint bark around the holidays. And the haagen peppermint bark bars are very good. This Alden's Organic is $11.89. For how many bars do you get? 18 bars. Oh, and they're 100 calories each. I might get these. I need portion control. Chances are I'm just gonna end up eating three of them, but then I'll at least have to feel guilty while I'm doing it. I don't know. <laughs> I like these though. Thank you for watching this Costco shop with me today. Here is the basket of all the things I got and I spent a pretty penny on this shopping trip. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my other videos and I will see you in the next video. Bye.